The Pathless Path, Imagining a New Story uh, for Work and Life. And so, quote, The Pathless Path is about finding yourself in the wrong life and the real work of figuring out how to live. And so uh, I know you're going to talk a little bit about, you know, um, how you see yourself and, and things like that. But I love how you started off the book with a quote from Ram Dass. This is the pathless path where the journey leads is to the deepest truth in you. So it really has to come like from you inside of what you want out of this kind of unique life that we have, you know, uh, YOLO, mm -hmm. you know, you only live once. So um, I, I really kind of, before we get into that, kind of just talk about like how, how much was it, not maybe a monkey off your back, but how good did it feel when you did actually press publish, you know, and, and you're, you're done for the, for the project, of course, marketing, of course, Twitter and, you know, whatever, but like, how, what did that make yourself feel? Because like you said, you started off not that curious, but then you gained curiosity. You, you have been on this one way ticket of a, a you know, train yeah. ride. And then, so you, you press publish and now you're done. Yeah, I mean, one of the themes I explore in my book is like designing for liking work. Um, and really what we're talking about is like designing for liking your life. Um, mm. And that was a radically different shift than what I was doing before, which was like designing for the next achievement. Um, Good way to put it. So hitting publish didn't really feel like anything. <laughs> I mean, it's literally like um, you get an email. I got an email in my sleep from Amazon. I didn't know it was going to publish either. Um, I wanted to pre-sell it and then like hype it up for two weeks. Cause that's what you're like supposed oh, to do. Right, but I got an, right. I got an email like when I woke up on Friday and it's like, your book has been published. It can now be ordered. <laughs> I'm like, Oh shit, we're alive. <laughs> Was that just um, like a preset thing? Like a box you needed to tick and just kind of, no, 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 there's, no like, pre <laughs> there's no pre-sell option for like self publishers. I think, oh, I think like publishers can do it, but mm -hmm. you can pre-sell Kindle, but not the printed copies. So I could have unpublished it and just done it again in two weeks, but I was like, it's live. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the, the cool moment was when people started texting me pictures, like friends mm. I didn't talk to and just be like, Oh my God, this is so cool. This is like the, like people connecting with what I'm saying. Cause like, that's, that's what makes it all worth it. It's like, I don't know, just if like, somebody's finding resonance in it it's so cool and i've found that in so many books in my journey where i'm like oh my god i'm so grateful people have written these books um one of the biggest shifts for me was reading amy mcmillan's book reclaiming control she wrote mm. it about quitting her job at 23 or 24 and traveling for a year and trying to make sense of her achievement path and her upbringing um very different story than mine, but it felt so real and connected to what I was experiencing. And I was just so happy that her book existed. It felt like a deep, meaningful conversation with a friend. And I was like, that's kind of the tone and energy I was going for in my book too. Um, I knew that if Amy's existed, like, why not do my own? Like, I kind of knew like, okay, I kind of got to do this. I'm always telling people to create and share. So 